ओके सो हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ शोभिक मुंडल एंड वेलकम टू द फिजिक्स गैलेक्सी चैनल सैड गिव मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन हिस चैनल सो आई ट्राई टू मेक डिसेंट लिटिल कंट्रीब्यूशन एंड दिस इज अ प्लेजेंट अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर मी सो ओके टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड आई थिंक अ लिटिल बिट एडवांस्ड प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स ऑफ डिटरमाइनिंग नॉर्मल मोड फ्रीक्वेंसी दिस प्रॉब्लम आई थिंक इट्स नॉट uh it actually rare and you can hardly find it in any book or any normal textbook so okay so look at this problem first so this is a equilateral triangle this uh vertex this vertex and this vertex all the three vertex are connected to rigid supports and this is the initial configuration there are three springs spring constants k and there is a mass mass m at the center of the triangle length of the triangle every uh, every edge has length l and usual equilateral triangle have 60 degree angles and now we try to give a small displacement for this mass m and we displace it by small displacement x and y so the question is uh, clear i guess so this is the mass m connected by three springs and spring constant k and we give it a small displacement x y so normally when there are spring type spring kind of problem where spring is involved we gave it we give it a give it a displacement in any particular direction but here the displacement in a plane so here the displacement is in x direction and also in y direction okay so now we have to find the normal mode frequencies so this is another version of this problem where the triangle is replaced by a square and this problem is actually from rayle hobson the mathematical physics books of rayle hobson and the problem is given there and the answer is also given there but the solution is not so you can give it a try later okay so now try to look at the solution step by step okay so as i mentioned earlier this is the easiest case so here is a spring of length l not and you give the mass same a displacement in x direction a small x displacement so what is the potential energy the potential energy is half k x squared that x is the change in length of the spring but now think about something different situation so here is a spring and if if you give it a displacement in both x and y direction a small length x and a small length y in both the direction then what will be the spring potential energy and how to solve this problem for finding a normal mode frequency okay so we have to find the new length of the spring first so what is the new length the new length is simple it is the pythagoras theorem that is root under l not plus x n whole square plus y square so there is a typo don't mind it it is l not plus x whole square plus y square okay so and the potential energy is half k l minus l not square where l not is the new length l is the new length and l not is the initial length so this is the potential energy so we have to calculate what is l minus l not so l minus l not is root under l not square plus 2 l not x plus x square plus y square whole root under and minus l not now if you x Uh, consider that x and y are small displacement you can neglect this quadratic term and why we are neglecting this quadratic term let me explain you it to explain it to you in a few moments so okay i am neglecting this quadratic term so now there is root under l not square plus 2 l not x minus this l not so x is small again and we are doing a binomial expansion and pulling this l not outside and then do a binomial expansion so you will simply get x so y term doesn't appear at all so potential energy will be approximately half k x square now the reason let me tell me let tell me the reason of neglecting this quadratic term so if you kept this quadratic term then in the final expression of the extended length there is linear term of x there is quadratic term of x square and there is quadratic term of y square and when you write the potential energy then then potential energy term contains uh, like term x to the power 4 y to the power 4 x cube x y square this kind of cubic and fourth order term 
so for normals shm kind of motion where you have to find the normal mode frequencies we don't want the higher order terms in potential energy so 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 for normal displacement cases we always want that the potential energy should vary as a quadratic term on x and y that's why we are neglecting this quadratic term x square and y square under root which is under root so that is the reason why are we neglecting this quadratic term inside the root so now let us try to find the original problem so our original problem is this one this is the configuration so let us consider for this spring so this is the i am considering this is the first spring so this spring makes an angle 30 degree with the spring it makes an angle 30 degree with the uh, with this length this edge so let me try to find the extension of length of that spring okay so this is the first spring this spring makes an angle 30 degree and this is the mass m now after giving a displacement what is the configuration so this is the initial configuration and now you give a displacement small x in the x direction and small y in the y direction so this is the new configuration so you have to find that what is the new length of the spring so this is actually again simple by pythagoras theorem you can find that the new length of the spring that is l mod of l prime l prime is the new length which is root under what is the initial x component initial x component is l cos 30 and now you have a additional x displacement so l cos 30 plus x whole square plus what is the initial y component initial y component is l sin 30 and now you have the additional displacement y so this is l sin 30 plus y whole square so this is the new length of the spring and what is the initial length initial length is just l okay so yeah now let's try to extension or the change in length of the spring so delta x1 that is change in length that is mod of l prime minus mod of l okay so delta x1 is root under l cos 30 plus x l whole square plus l sin 30 plus y l whole square minus l now again there you can expand this square, square brackets and there is some quadratic term of x square and y square and some linear term of x and y so again we are neglecting this quadratic terms x square and y square because of the same reason because we don't want a cubic or fourth order term of x and y in the potential energy expression we want only quadratic terms x square and y square in the potential energy expression that's why when we try to calculate the extension in length the extension in length should only contain linear terms like of x and y so that's why we are again neglecting this x square and y square and we keep terms only linear is x linear in x and y so again we will do a binomial expansion see x and y are small so we will again do a binomial expansion there and we will uh, do this kind of binomial expansion where 1 plus x to the power half is 1 plus x by 2 approximately so after doing this this is the extension of the length the first spring goes through this extension when extension or you can say change in length where x and y are small displacement so now it is now you can uh, figure out i guess that what is what will happen for the second spring the second spring has initially this configuration and after displacement after you are giving this displacement in this way so this is x and this is y so what is now the length of this second spring the initial length was l cos 30 but remember now x is in opposite direction for this spring so it is l cos 30 minus x l whole square plus l sin 30 plus y l whole square if you uh, if you see the picture the diagram you can clearly uh, see that why there is a minus sign for x and there is a plus sign for y so similarly you can find the extension of length of the second spring that is mod l prime minus mod l so you i am not doing this explicitly step by step you can uh, surely find out that this extension is y sin 30 minus x cos 30 okay so now for the third spring this is the third spring third spring initially in this configuration and after displacement 
it has some displacement y and this has it has some displacement uh, x and y x in horizontal y in vertical so the length of the spring now l minus y a whole square plus x a whole square so the vertical distance is decreased l minus y and the horizontal distance is increased that is plus x a whole square so what is the change in length that is mod l prime minus l and again you can do a binomial expansion and you can finally find that the extension is y now finally you have to put all this expression half of all the spring constant is k so k by 2 delta x1 square plus delta x2 square plus delta x3 square and this will give you the total potential energy so this is k by 2 you put delta x1 here delta x2 here and del y square here delta x3 is y and uh, you have uh, you can do this a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square is equal to 2a square plus b square and finally your potential energy will look like 3k by 4 x square plus y square so you solve the potential energy finally and now you are already done i guess so so now you have the you can write the matrix vij that is del 2v del x2 del 2v del x del y del 2v del y del x and del 2v del y2 that is it is 3k by 2 3k by 2 in the diagonal and other terms are zero and you can also have the kinetic energy kinetic energy is very simple it has the displacement x and displacement y so half m x dot square plus y dot square so the matrix tij is m00 m and now you have you know the technique to solve the normal mode frequencies that is vij determinant of vij minus omega square tij is equal to 0 so you can substitute this and you finally get that omega is root under 3k by 2m okay so i think this is a bit uh, good and interesting uh, advanced problem if you already know then excellent and if you don't know you can I argue you to give the this problem, this really Hobson problem, give it a try, and you can comment also the answer, and we can check it whether it is correct or not. So thank you very much, and if you have any doubt, any suggestion, then please let us know.